so apparently both blink and time stop do not work. She takes the food away. Conjuring food in a restaurant, only for the waitress to take it from you, how very funnery.
that's actually hilarious cause I've never actually seen that before.
Wapsi. I accidentally showed the stockings to someone and, and oops.
Ok. There are two more people apparently we can talk to by Magic Fron. The one isn't actually here, here. Yes, we met at the Mounted Lord's Banquet. I am Prejudice, of course. I saw her briefly a few times while she was in our city. She spent a lot of time at the seminarium. Gweno had a lot of interest in the exotic races of our land. I am the mistress of cold fire magic, a specialty I learned during my many travels to the north. Extreme cold is in its own way just as powerful a force as extreme hat. Over time, I have learned to bend it to my will. Extreme hat. Oh. 
Now your eight extreme head. Extreme cold and it is in its own way just as powerful a force as extreme heat. Over time I have learned to bend it to my will. Yes, I have a goblin for a servant. What of it? She is a perfect servant because she is almost completely impervious to the cold. But surely we can think of more interesting things to talk about. Some of my most memorable experiences have been on my various expeditions to the north. It is a harsh and unforgiving environment that brings out the passionate will in one's heart to survive. It is extremely invigorating. All I shall tell thee is that if thou shouldst ever travel there, thou shouldst dress warmly. That disgusting oaf. He wanted to buy a sort of relic for me. But I did not sell it to him. Cannot we find a different topic of conversation? A beautiful city is it not, but ever so much more beautiful at night, when the moon is shining down upon it. Dost thou not agree? not very remarkable, merely a stone in the shape of a serpent's tooth. It had no powers that I know of. Many of us have these stones. In fact, it is a tradition for the best mages to own one or more of them. Canst thou keep a secret? I can tell thee from whence the serpent teeth came.
The mages of Moonshade steal them from Erstam, the mad mage who lives on the island. Oh, that explains why the jawbone was empty. It is such a fine sport, but if he catches thee, he turns thee into a newt. We do not know why he values them so, but since he now hates us, I doubt that he shall explain the matter to us. I wonder what it opens. Then when are you supposed to be available? 
When I wake you up from sleeping. We actually have both of these. I guess we need a key, or that's just an exit.
Oh hey, we could just buy an entire suit of magic armor now. Forget finding in it.
I guess I shouldn't be too worried.
Nothing too exciting, let's just advance the plot. I don't think he'll be useful for a while.
Okay, say. Thou didst come. I cannot express how pleased I am to see thee again, Xie. But this matter of the spells, it must be discussed in private. Only mages may hear the secrets which I am about to reveal. Well, that is ever sus. Would thou please ask thy minions to depart? Minions? So we're gonna get in trouble no matter the outcome. I'm so glad that thou hast met me here, sweet avatar. I find strangers. I feel so comfortable around thee. It is as though we have known each other before, perhaps in some other existence. Do not be formal with me, Kisei. Please come join me here by the pool. Why part thou in such a rush? In moonshade, we know to mix pleasure with business. Nope, it's cause I know where this is going. I'm sure that there is time for us to know each other better before this matter of the spells must be conducted. Thou shouldst learn to relax.
to be blunt, there is something uncommonly erotic about thee. I am most attracted to thee, woman. Thou hast come to learn spells, but I can teach thee some true magic. Wouldst thou kiss me, Kise? So what happens here is... If you say yes, they go further. If you say no, this ends here. Now I'm little to say yes, cause this lady is sus. But even when I played it the first time, I didn't get the cues. So you can pretty much say no and you aren't forced into it. What? Frigidazi, why is the stranger in thy chambers? Darling, this is such a surprise, I have an explanation for everything. Yet, yeah, everyone in the city sleeps around. I am not deaf, sorceress. I can see very well what hath been happening here. What dost thou have to say in thy defense, Kusei? I said no. No means no. I mean.
Don't cancel me on Twitter. Not so fast, peasant. I have a special punishment reserved for those who dare to play games with my mistresses. He said mistresses plural. He has more than one. No, do not, Filbertio. Spare this one from thy wrath. Do not send her into the pit. This one. There's been others. I demand that this criminal be punished by the Council of Mages. Let the Quorum of Mages be convened instantly. Well, here we go again. My turn to be on trial. Getting cancelled in the game. Order in the court. We have found him this day to hear the case of Kisai, who hath committed treason. This criminal is charged with lusting after the mistress of the mage lord. Since when is this a crime? What doth the lady say? Thanks, Yulo. Be silent, or thou too wilt be sentenced to the pit, for thine insolence. I beg of thee, Mage Lord Filbertio, to spare this person's life. It was all my fault.
My fellow wizards, I am sure that you are able to see beyond this criminal's denials. My fellow wizards, I am sure that you are able to see beyond this criminal's denials. After all, I caught her in the bedchamber of dear Frigidesi. Please be, be seated, Frigidesi. We shall now hear from the character witnesses. The stranger came into my shop and asked me in strange and personal questions concerning the sorceress Frigidazzi. Talk to nobody about Frigidazzi. Aha, the cat doth not even rise in her own defense. She must be guilty. Let us hear from the next witness. I did travel with this person upon my recent voyage from the Inn of the Sleeping Bull, and I had many long talks with her. Really? Did we really? I must report that her character is not to be trusted. She is a liar, a fraud, and is known to consort with people of the lowest type. Yet she was a good traveling companion, able with sword and bow. So I ask for thy leniency, mage lord.
Thanks for thy witness, good merchant. Lords and adepts, you have heard the evidence. Kisai did come amongst us like a disease, to bring destruction upon us all. Well, guess I'm not saving you when you ask. Worst of all, she hath dared to tamper with the affections of she whom I hold most dear, the good sorceress Frigidiazy. How do you judge her? For the crime of entering the bedchamber of the mage lord's mistress, we must find her guilty, mage lord. Guilty. And the sentence. As with all within the mage lord, this criminal must be sent to the hell hole known as Dungeon of Freedom. Oh no, not my freedoms. Yeah. Not that place. She shall never be seen alive again. Then you shouldn't have lied. It shall be with this criminal as was with all others. If she can find her way back to the surface world, then she shall be a free woman. Really. Enough of this jabbering. Let justice be done. Greetings, Felon.
thou art in the mountains of freedom a magical prison from which none have escaped. Watch me. I am the caretaker here. It is my duty to record thy name and crime. With thine attitude, I understand why thou art here. No, you don't. With what crime art thou charged? Ah, thou wouldst be surprised how many innocents come through here, felon. Only yesterday we had such an innocent, let us see. Stefano was his name. I will tell thee as I told him, sleep passes thy time here and may provide thee with new ideas for winning my freedom. Thou shouldst be wary of two rogue mages who roam through these passages. They came here in search of the forbidden regent Stoneheart and never escaped. Be mindful of the other felons must are quite desperate by now and will kill thee for what thou dost possess. In fact, they prove to be thy greatest danger. There is another caker within the prison with a small supply of food and healing potions for sale if thou dost need any. And if thou dost make it, that far of course. I make rounds periodically to note who has died for the records. Thou 
mayst ye notice later that I take great care to memorialize all who perish here, so that passing shall not go unremarked. Remember, if thou canst find thy way out, that we will be free. Remember, if thou canst find thy way out, thou wilt be free. I came to feel bad destroying him. I wouldn't need any of this. I mean, technically, that's a solution. But I don't think it's the intended one.
Did we lose the automaton?
Getting lost like usual.
Now we thought I'd push the time ahead again.
Okay, first things first. Don't kill the automata yet. Be right back. 